Kamchatka. It's the land of fire and ice. The peninsula is one of the most volcanic regions on the planet, sharing the cold latitudes of Siberia and Alaska. It was a forbidden territory that the Soviet military kept off limits to outsiders for many years, and only in recent history was it reopened to the rest of the world. For years I had looked out on a map and wondered about surfing there. With a the long coastline that borders the Pacific, it seemed like there would be lots of potential but the region's rugged terrain posed huge challenges for surf exploration. Few surfers had ever visited the remote peninsula, and none of us knew what to expect. Preparing and planning to do a trip to a completely unknown place is a daunting task. We had picked a team we knew could endure the environment. It included Keith Malloy, Dan Godowskis, Cyrus Sutton, Trevor Gordon, Foster Huntington, Van Wylen, and myself. We would be led by Lena and Sergei, two locals who were well acquainted with Kamchatka's wilderness. Our flight connected from Anchorage, Alaska to the city of Petropavlovsk, Kamchatsky. Once we landed, we would set out for two weeks camping along the coast. Bad 